everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I'm coming at you with another writing hack. And that is, this one's for character development. When you are developing characters, any characters in your story, whether it is your main character, your love interest, the best friend, or your antagonist, you should consider their family history. Now, I don't mean that you have to create some intricate family tree. That sounds overwhelming even to me, and I, I do quite like planning type stuff, but not out outlining, never forget. But it means considering where your character comes from in terms of their familial history. You should always consider history, period. So actually, this does also apply to the character of your world in many cases. So that could be the town that it's set in, or if it's in space, it could be the spaceship, and so on. We are all formed by where we come from. In particular, people are really impacted by their parents, by the parenting style, by who raises them, for better or for worse. I think we can all relate to this. We, we can relate to the value systems that we get from our parents, the baggage that we get from our parents, and this is going to be true of your characters as well. But it's not just parents because everything is a cycle. So you want to think not only about your character's parents and how they might have been raised, and factoring into this can be, were they raised by their parents at all? There is an orphan trope in YA and middle grade for a reason. It enables kids to have adventures. But you can also think about how their parents were raised. Where do they come from? Are there tragic secrets in the past? Is it psychological? Is there, you know, something inherited through the generations? You know, if it's a fantastical story, this could be magic. It could be baggage. It could be all sorts of things. Now, most of this isn't going to make it on the page or shouldn't unless you are writing the kind of book where you need to disclose the sins of the past and of the father and all that jazz. But by you, the author, kind of knowing these things about the character, you're then approaching the character in a more layered fashion. Psychologically and sociologically, you're thinking about their worldview, essentially, where they come from that is impacted, how they view people and the world, and thus this is going to form their reactions. This will help characters simply feel more weighted and organic and like real living, breathing people that we encounter in real life. I think this is especially important for your antagonist. I think so many people underthink their antagonists, and antagonists end up being half-baked, very one-dimensional. But by thinking about who the antagonist is, where did they come from? What forms them into the person that they are? Whether it's more typical, like, oh, they had terrible parents or came from a really awful background, or if you want to kind of rock the boat a bit, they came from a fantastic background with wonderful, loving parents. What turned them into the person that they are? By even asking the question, you are pushing for more depth in your story and your characters. And this is how you create characters that are complex and dynamic and sticky, that readers are interested in. You want to know how to create characters that people want to write fan fiction about? You got to think about that depth and those layers. And I think that those depth and those layers start in history, family history. So that is my character development hack, considering the family history, especially and particularly parents, how a person is raised and what kind of turned them into the person they are that brings them to the place where your story starts and informs all of their choices throughout. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It lets me know that I should make more quick, fun writing hacks for you. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I post new videos two to three times a week all about writing, craft, young adult fiction, books, publishing, and so on. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy writing.